Hey, here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create and animate paper images. I placed the object that will have the transition in a separate composition. For the appearance, I find some frame-by-frame -frame animated paper sheets, in my case, from VideoHive. I put the paper transition into the composition with this building. I make the inside of the paper green so that I can later remove it and use only the paper's edge. I arrange the transition to match my building, ensuring that the paper's distortion doesn't look bad. In the composition, I duplicate this transition to have two compositions. The first one will be a mask for my building, so we'll have the building appear. The second paper composition will be used to create edges. I'll remove the green from the interior using the key light effect. Now the building appears, and the edge is that frame-by-frame -frame paper over the building. To make the edges match the building's shape, I use track mat with the building shape for the paper transition. Thus, the building appears as the paper unfolds. After Effects has an issue. When using the same mask as an object that is later on top, we get some black pixels. We use the choker effect on the mask to remove that black pixel line. In the main composition, we can resize the building and place it in its position. We can always return to the building's composition and make changes. Bonus! We can use a different composition structure. For example, instead of using parent mat of the paper for our building, we can use stencil alpha mode for the mask. This way, any object that falls under our mask will be cut out, regardless of how many objects or their shapes. For the paper edge, I'll apply the preserve transparency effect, which makes the edge visible only if there's something underneath. Now, we can place any image under these two compositions, mask and paper edge, and automatically have the transition. We can also combine several objects under this mask, gaining flexibility. Tips To achieve a more realistic moving paper effect, we can use an adjustment layer with the turbulent displace effect applied. In Evolution Options, click on Cycle, Hold Alt, and click to introduce the expression time at the number that determines the effect's movement speed. We use Keyframe for the Amount property, which gives the composition movement at the appearance, and towards the end of the paper animation, the turbulent effect stops. This way, the paper only moves while it appears. Of course, the amount and size property values can be modified depending on how intense we want the turbulent effect to be. At the end, we can prepare a crumpled paper texture and give it a stop-motion effect. We do all this in a separate composition. Then, we place the texture composition under the mask and apply Preserve Transparency so that it's visible only on the object underneath. We can adjust the mode and visibility of this texture as we like depending on how visible we want it to be. Similarly, we animate the texture to be visible at the beginning and disappear towards the end of our object's appearance, obtaining a paper movement effect. Finally, here are some examples of what I've worked on. Of course, I didn't use all these ideas, but with this tutorial's help, you'll be able to do it quickly and without mistakes. Good luck!